Welcome sign Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park is a national historical park operated by the National Park Service that seeks to commemorate the Klondike Gold Rush of the late 1890s. Though the gold fields that were the ultimate goal of the Stampeders lay in the Yukon Territory, the park comprises staging areas for the trek there and the routes leading in its direction. There are four units, including three in Municipality of Skagway Borough, Alaska and a fourth in the Pioneer Square National Historic District in Seattle, Washington. A fuller appreciation of the story of the Klondike Gold Rush requires exploration and discovery on both sides of the Canada-United States border. National historic sites in Whitehorse and Dawson City, Yukon, as well as in British Columbia, complete the story. In 1998, Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park joined with Chilkoot Trail National Historic Site, Dawson Historical Complex National Historic Site and the 30-mile stretch of the Yukon River to create Klondike Gold Rush International Historical Park, allowing for an integrated binational experience. NPS and other buildings in the Skagway Historic District The Old Depot now functions as the NPS Visitor Center visitors on a ranger-guided tour of Jeff. Smith's Parlor Museum opened in April 2016 Younger visitors can earn their junior ranger badge at the restored Pantheon The Skagway unit includes much of the historic downtown such as buildings owned and restored by NPS and others. Some leased even today for ordinary commercial purposes to recreate the city's bustling activity. The Visitor Center in Skagway is located in Railroad Depot Building at 2nd and Broadway, and is a good place to begin tours either led by a ranger or self-guided. Junior rangers can plan their activities further and earn their badges further up Broadway at the Pantheon Saloon. The park includes as one of its units the White Pass Trail. White Pass is a mountain pass that leads from Skagway to the headwaters of the Yukon River in British Columbia. The trail was one of the two main routes used by prospectors to get from Skagway over the Boundary Range on their way to the gold fields in the Yukon. The White Pass and Yukon Route Railway, completed in 1900, used White Pass to bring prospectors from Skagway to Whitehorse, Yukon. The historic townsite of Dye is also part of the historical park, from which the Chilkoot Trail leaves and runs to Bennett Lake in British Columbia. From there, prospectors generally rafted to Dawson City, Yukon. The Trail Center in Skagway, operated by both the National Parks Service and Parks Canada, has information regarding current conditions along the Chilkoot Trail as it travels through both countries. A permit is required to hike the 33-mile trail. Buildings of Seattle Unit The Park Seattle Visitors Center at the Cadillac Hotel Prior location of the Visitors Center in the Union Trust Annex The Pioneer Square Historic District has several buildings dating to the 1880s and 1890s. The Cadillac Hotel at 319 2nd Avenue South was a major point of outfitting and departure during the Gold Rush Stampede. Severely damaged in the 2001 Nisqually earthquake, it was rehabilitated in 2004-2005 as home to the Interpretive Center and Museum for the Seattle Unit of the Park, and was opened and dedicated on June 26, 2006. The Seattle Unit's Visitor Center originally opened June 2, 1979 in the Union Trust Annex, across Main Street from Occidental Park. Other historic buildings include the Pioneer Building, Schwebacher Building, Grand Central Hotel, and Metropoli Building. The National Park Travelers Club held its 2014 convention at Klondike Gold Rush. Formerly Boss Bakery, Chillicoot Trail hikers should pick up their permits here, at 520 Broadway in Skagway, and register for customs, at a trail center jointly staffed by National Park Service and Parks Canada personnel in 1969. The United States and Canadian governments jointly declared their intention to make Chilkoot Trail a component of a Klondike Gold Rush International Historic Park. The U.S. portion was eventually established in 1976 as part of Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park. The Canadian portion of the trail became Chilkoot Trail National Historic Site, one of several sites in the national park system associated with the Klondike. But it was not until the centennial of the Gold Rush, in 1998, that the dream of an international park was realized, when Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park and Chilkoot Trail National Historic Site were declared to constitute jointly the Klondike Gold Rush International Historical Park. Their previous legal names were retained, while the new name reflected cooperative management between the two park services, and the formalization of relations which had in fact been going on for years. Beyond this, Joint resolutions recognize the relevance to Gold Rush interpretation of the Dawson Historical Complex National Historic Site, in Dawson City, Yukon, which includes significant buildings. 
Parks Canada identifies Dawson City as a unit of the International Park, as well as the 30-mile section of the Yukon River, a national heritage river from Lake LaBerge to the Teslin River. The river has been recognized by both countries as part of their joint interpretative efforts. Beyond the formal International Historical Park are national historic sites in Yukon concerned with the gold rush. Thanks for watching.